Hi everybody, Rochelle here from Quebec Cycle Day. Today I have a ton of new beautiful African cichlids from Lakes Malawi, Tanganyika and Victoria to show you. So stay tuned, you do not want to miss this video. For those of you who don't know, I have a local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec. That's right outside of Montreal. And you can come physically and see all of my fish during my opening hours. If you can't, well, I do ship throughout Canada. So if ever there's a fish here you like, send me a little message and I will get back to you with a shipping quote. Just send me your address. So enough of business now. I have a lot of new fish to show you. I've been doing these shipment videos for a little while and this time there are a lot of new fish that I haven't gotten before. Especially, I got some very special haps from Lake Malawi special hap. I also have a very rare kind of hap from Lake Victoria that I cannot wait to show you. They're not super colorful yet, but oh, they have a lot of potential. So let's get started with the fish presentation. I hope you love them as much as I do. Starting off with the Lake Malawi Mbunas. For some of these, I ordered them in two sizes. Adults are about four inches long and juvies are about two inches long. Pseudotrephis shewere. This little juvie here is the same fish as the first one, but the dark stripes become more prominent with age. Petrotslapia shitsumba. The male becomes a lilac purple. It may not look purple, but that's just the background. When the male is really dominant, he will even lose his stripes and look like this. This is a picture of one of the fish from this shipment that was sold before I could take the footage. The females and juvies are white with a yellow dorsal fin. This mbuna gets pretty big and needs a bigger tank to thrive. If the tank is too small, it could get aggressive. Metria Clima SP Zebra OB Red. OB stands for orange blotch. Most people think that it's orange blossom, but it's not. Orange blossom is much prettier though. The fish will keep these blotches with age. The males also seem to have more blue reflections in their bodies than the females do. Labidochromis permut. This is the same genus as the Labidochromis, the yellow lab, but this one is white. The male's body becomes as white as the pearls, and the females and dominated males keep their stripes. There are many females holding in this video. Can you spot any? In case you're wondering, oh yes, I'm going to keep and grow out these babies. Placidochromis phenochilus, the star sapphire cichlid. The sparkles on this hap will eventually cover their whole body. In the wild, this fish is known as an opportunistic feeder. He will let other fish, their host, dig in the sand and they will eat what comes up. Cyanochromis fraieri, the electric blue alley. This beautiful cichlid's elongated body is made for hunting. He is a quick hunter that will usually prey on juvenile non-imbunas. Protomelas teniolatus, the red empress. The male is a vibrant red and the females are white with black stripes. In the wild, these fish will feed mainly off of algae and small invertebrates. Make sure that your fish pellets have spirulina or kelp in them to satisfy their dietary needs. The Placidochromis electra is also known as the deep water hap. Has a lot of blue in its body, but we can't see it that well again because of the blue background. Placidochromis milomo. These were hiding in my last video. I'm happy to finally get some footage. Their body will color up in time and become orange red, like this picture taken from the internet. Their lips will also grow with age. Those big lips are made to lock onto a rock and to suck out the invertebrates that are in it. They're not just to look pretty. Nebochromis venustus, a classic hap. Actually, no, this is a predator. I have some big ones and some small ones too. 
Nimble Kramis are called Kaligono in the Chichewa language. This signifies sleepers. Ironically, they don't do a lot of sleeping. These predator cichlids will play dead and wait until the little fish they are hunting come to them. They are clever hunters. Ever notice that camel style texture? Yeah, it's camo, it's camouflage. Nimblecramus fuscoteniatus. Same genus as the Venustus, but a different species. These little guys grow to look like this. They are big carnivores and should be kept in a big tank. Of course, you can grow these out a little bit in a smaller tank. But make sure you're ready when they get big. Neolamprelagus brevis. This shell dweller can get around 2 inches long. They stay small. This is the only known shell dweller that is not only monogamous, but also that the couple shares the same shell. Antonoprelagus calvis black. Look at these cuties. Like the brevis, the calvis also use a shell. But these are not classified shell dwellers, as they will also live in caves. In the aquarium, my favorite habitat to offer them is a conch shell. Since they are so slim, they are the only ones who will fit in them. Of course, get one big enough that they don't get stuck in it as adults. If you want to know the difference between these calvis and their compressiceps counterparts, I made a whole video about it. Haplochromis Kenya Gold. I was so excited to order these. They are so rare. They have the potential to color up like this. I guess I'll have to be patient, they have a lot of potential. In a nice home, with a lot of room and hiding spots, they will definitely color up. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these videos, well there is plenty more where that came from, so subscribe to my channel and make sure not to miss a single one. I've been uploading fish videos since 2017, so you have a lot of stuff to watch now. If you want more fishy content in between my videos, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have a great website where you can shop online and see all the fish I have for sale. I have a local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec, where you can come see my fish, that's right outside of Montreal. And if you're from the rest of Canada, well, I can just ship to you. So send me an email, I'll put the link in the video description where you can send me that email, send me your address, and I'll get back to you with a quote. Also, if you like this fabulous Cichlid Geek t-shirt, you can get it on my Teespring store. The t-shirts ship worldwide, and every shirt that you buy really encourages me and helps me out in this life project, and makes you look as fabulous as I do, so don't miss out on that. I also want to thank everybody who supports me in online, on my Teespring store, on my online store, in my actual physical store in Terban. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. So finally, thank you to everyone for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.